Oh, here we go. Let's get into what the fine folks writing in had to say this week. Um, all right. Thank you. Bill Burt podcast and anything better. Dear Bill, the fi- my favorite part of the week weekend now is to wake up Saturday to a new episode of anything better. That's the one I do with Paul Verzi. Uh, what a perfect time to post a podcast. Kudos to you and Paul. Also the Stanhope episode of Bill Burt was amazing. Can't wait for part two. Uh, think he joined the podcast again, or even as a regular once a month guest. Yeah, we had, um, Doug Stanhope, um, one of the greatest comedians of all time. It's just, it's a fact. And it doesn't get said enough other than by hardcore, because you've got to be a hardcore fan, fan uh, stand-up. There's a lot of people that um, think they know stand-up comedy. You've got to watch Doug Stanhope. Um, this guy is the real deal. If you're looking for somebody that is going to say exactly what the fuck he's thinking and does not give a shit about the fallout This is the comedian for you. And he has been that guy ever since I first met him in the late 90s when he had the long hair and I had the orange afro way back in the day when we looked like extras on fucking Barney Miller. Um, He is the fucking man. So he did, yeah, he did an episode of Bill Burt this week and then the Anything Better podcast with Paul Verzi. This is what I did during the pandemic. It was basically, you know, it was a way for me to connect with uh, comics that I hung out with but didn't get to see. I'm starting to do podcasts with them, and I'm having a great time doing it. So check them out if you can. All right. Fatty here. Hey, uh, little Billy Longstocking. Uh, To the butthurt fatty that emailed you last week, as a fat person myself, I find your take on the subject hilarious. Well, thank you, because I'm not against you. I'm rooting for you. You know, but I, I, my job is to make fun of shit. So, you know, that is, that is what it is. He said, if slash when, or he or she said this, a joke hits close to home, that's because of my own insecurities in the truth that you're telling. If anything, you're motivating us fatties to make better decisions and the ones that take offense need to waddle to a mirror and take a look. Yeah, I, that's what's hilarious. It's like, what I'm doing is not fatal. What they're doing is fatal. Um, if your pale, freckled, red face can improve, why can't I? <laughs> yeah, dude. If I can try to, yeah, if I can become better at something, look at the way I look. Yeah, exactly. That gives everybody hope. Anyway, this person says, I'm going to start this 30-day increment deal you do and bite off small chunks until I'm a less fatter fuck. Um... I'll laugh at you ridiculing the majority of society while I do it, including the butthurt fatty that emailed their complaint while sobbing through another half gallon of Bluebell. Uh, Go fuck yourself. Well, there you go. That's the attitude. It's the attitude you got to fucking have. Um, And good luck to you, sir or ma'am. I am rooting for you. And I'm even rooting for the fucking sad fatty who fucking emailed me last week. Sorry, trying to stay hydrated here. Uh, your desire to stay fit is privilege. Oh, God. Oh, please, please, with your flat screen TV, tell me how privilege my flat screen thing is. Oh, God. Are they going to say the obvious thing that in starving countries that just getting nutrition? This is going to, oh, my God. This, I'm really going to have to grit my teeth through this. Dear Bill, I'm writing to inform you that your journey to fitness is racist and privilege laden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was because I was an old dad and I had a responsibility that I was going to bring kids into the world in late in life as I did to stick around long enough to raise them so they're not bad people. The ability to be sp- a specific form or size is inherently determined by what you find attractive in yourself. Well, I'm not smart enough for that sentence. Let me try to slow down. The ability to be a specific form or size is inherently determined by what you find attractive in yourself. I suppose you've dated women from cold countries that require weight for survival. Well, I grew up on the East Coast and we had Nor'easters. Uh, it's easy with the colonial perspective you have. Oh, God, here's all the buzzwords. The colonial perspective you have to not see this. Oh, well, thank you for for squeegeeing my third eye, oh genius. 
You wouldn't last in the tundra where my grandparents grew up. They were not skinny Germans like yourself. (laughs) They were strong and had pride. Oh, wait a second. So are you saying Germans aren't strong and don't have pride? Now, didn't you call me racist earlier? Uh, When you mentioned being bald as a negative feature, you were insulting the very weak genes your race has. Look at this. This is the classic. Uh, this is the classic woke liberal being reverse way. Well, not everybody who's German is bald. You fucking moron. It's called having a sense of humor about yourself. Please consider this and make changes to your life accordingly. Oh my god! I mean, that is just stuck the landing for fucking pompous, impressed with yourself, liberal bullshit. Yeah. Well. All right. Wow. Wow. That was that. Wow. That was a clap of thunder, wasn't it? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I'm sure that's why they survived up there because they were fat fucks acting like they're fucking walruses. (laughs) I think dressing warmly, you know, and not putting all that extra burden on your heart is probably a better way to survive. But evidently, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fat fuck because I can't stop eating cookies. I'm just trying to stay warm. All right. Yeah, that was, that was mind-blowing. Um, advice. Uh, please consider this and make changes to your life accordingly. Oh, my God. I mean, just like the, the fucking... I, I am a lefty, and I, am, I cannot fucking believe... Maybe it always existed just under the surface, and that's what the people, the red side, was always pointing out. But uh, I guess guess the left has always been really fucking self-congratulatory. No, but the the right does it, too. If you ever listen to Ted Nugent, there's another tip from your old Uncle Ted. (laughs) Like, he has the whole fucking thing figured out. What a way to go through life. (laughs) I always thought I consciously said how fucking stupid I am into this. That's how I thought I was. Maybe someday I can reach this person's uh, level of fucking, I don't know what, wokeness. I don't even know what that was. That's just one of those things, you know, when you run into a person like that, you say, yeah, you just, the best thing, you just agree with them. Oh, okay. Is that how it works? Okay. Just let them walk off feeling like they did something. 